Welcome back to Black Pearls, Distinguished Women of Color, where we celebrate the trailblazers, innovators, and leaders who inspire us every day. Today we shine the spotlight on a modern-day icon, the inimitable Ava DuVernay, an American filmmaker and former film publicist who has made history with her groundbreaking work in cinema and television. Ava Marie DuVernay was born on August 24, 1972, in Long Beach, California. She grew up in Linwood, California. She graduated from UCLA with a double major in English literature and African-American studies. She initially pursued a career in journalism, but switched to film publicity after working on the O.J. Simpson murder trial as an intern for CBS News. DuVernay started her own film publicity firm, the DuVernay Agency, in 1999, which specialized in marketing and distributing films by black filmmakers. She also founded the African-American Film Festival releasing movement, AFARM, later rebranded as Array, a collective of film professionals and organizations dedicated to amplifying independent films by people of color and women. DuVernay made her directorial debut with the documentary This Is The Life, 2008, chronicling the 1990s Los Angeles hip-hop scene, followed by a series of music documentaries for BT, such as My Mic Sounds Nice, 2010, exploring women's role in hip-hop. Her first narrative feature film was I Will Follow, 2010, a drama about a woman coping with the death of her aunt. The film received positive reviews and won the African American Film Critics Association Award for Best Screenplay. Her breakthrough came with her second feature film, Middle of Nowhere, 2012, a drama about a woman who struggles to maintain her identity and marriage while her husband is incarcerated. The film earned DuVernay an Independent Spirit Award nomination for Best Director and a Gotham Award nomination for Breakthrough Director. DuVernay's next project was Selma, 2014, a biopic about Martin Luther King Jr. and his involvement in the 1965 Selma to Montgomery marches for voting rights. The film was critically acclaimed and nominated for two Academy Awards, Best Picture and Best Original Song, Glory, by John Legend and Common. DuVernay became the first African-American woman to be nominated for a Golden Globe Award for Best Director and the first African-American woman to direct a film nominated for an Academy Award for Best Picture. The film also won four NAACP Image Awards, including Outstanding Motion Picture and Outstanding Directing. DuVernay continued to challenge herself and expand her horizons with her subsequent projects. She directed the Netflix documentary 13th, 2016, which examined the history of racial inequality and mass incarceration in the United States. The film was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Documentary Feature and won four Primetime Emmy Awards, including Outstanding Documentary or Nonfiction Special and Outstanding Directing for a Nonfiction Program. DuVernay also became the first black woman to be nominated for an Oscar for directing a documentary feature. She also directed A Wrinkle in Time, 2018, a Disney fantasy film based on the classic novel by Madeleine L'Engle. The film starred Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon, Mindy Kaling, Storm Reed and Chris Pine. DuVernay became the first African-American woman to direct a film with a budget of $100 million, as well as the first woman of color to direct a live-action film that earned more than $100 million at the domestic box office. DuVernay's television credits include Queen Sugar, 2016 present, a drama series that she created for OWN based on the novel by Natalie Bazile, When They See Us, 2019, a Netflix limited series based on the 1989 Central Park jogger case that she co-wrote and directed, Colin in Black and White, 2021, another Netflix limited series based on the teenage years of NFL player Colin Kaepernick that she co-created and directed, and Naomi, 2022, a CW series. DuVernay has received numerous honors and accolades for her work, including a Peabody Award, a BAFTA Film Award, a BAFTA TV Award, a Britannia Award, a GLAAD Media Award, and a Visionary Award from the Smithsonian Institution. She was also included on the annual Time 100 list of the most influential people in the world in 2017. In 2020, she was elected to the Academy of Motion Pictures Arts and Sciences Board of Governors as part of the Director's Branch. DuVernay is not only a talented and visionary filmmaker, but also a passionate and outspoken advocate for social justice, diversity, and inclusion in the film and television industry, using her platform to amplify the voices of marginalized communities and to inspire the next generation of storytellers. She is truly a black pearl and a distinguished woman of color. Thank you for watching. 
If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Until next time, stay inspired and keep shining.